Welcome to Section 3 of our Crisis Resource Management course. In many ways, this section will be about strategy and medical decision-making. We're going to build on the concepts of preparation and focus on comprehending what's going on around us during a crisis and anticipating a future state. As an overview of what's to come this week, we'll introduce you to the crisis resource management principles of balancing attention and anticipating and planning. During a crisis, we have the opportunity to predict how an event can evolve. We discussed in Section 2 how our ability to forecast can and will be influenced by our own experiences, our own expertise, our own stress level, and our ability to pay attention. For example, a burn patient may present to our emergency room without airway compromise. And based on our own experiences, we may choose to intubate that patient before tongue swelling occurs. Another example is that a patient may present to the emergency room, and as his or her story unfolds, we may forget to obtain a surgical consult because our stress levels are high. Remember, the concept of situational awareness, formally defined as the perception of elements of the environment within a volume of time and space, the comprehension of their meaning, and the projection of their status in the near future. Situational awareness includes comprehension and anticipating what lies ahead. So with the definition of situational awareness in mind, let's consider the following two questions. First, can you miss elements of a crisis? And second, how do you think ahead and plan effectively? Our hope is that by the end of this section, you recognize that in order to anticipate and plan, you need to be able to balance your attention, particularly when the cognitive load is high. Now close your eyes and imagine a time in which you're in the middle of a chaotic crisis scene. You may be in the emergency room, the operating room, the labor and delivery suite, the ward, or the intensive care unit. Imagine a time in which alarms were loud, team members were talking over each other, and stress levels were high. Did you miss any elements of the crisis? Were you able to predict what would happen in that crisis? Think about these answers, or consider writing them out before you move on.